this is again a differential equation question so let us look at this question okay what does it say uh, an oven's rate of change of temperature t over time t small t is given by the differential equation dt by dt is equal to minus kt okay so here this minus is only telling us that uh, the temperature is decreasing okay it's cooling down if t has positive values t1 and t2 at times t1 and t2 then prove k which is a constant is 1 over t2 minus t1 times natural log of t1 over t2 okay now this looks very difficult but if you break it down slowly it, it should not be that difficult so let's write the differential equation which is dt dt capital t over dt is minus kt that's already given so you don't need to question this now if you just want to understand this minus as i told is telling that the change in temperature is uh, negative change in temperature is negative means it's cooling down so let us bring the t dt with this t so dividing both sides by capital t it's one over t dt is equal to minus k dt so what i've done is i divided both sides by t and also multiplied both sides by dt now when you say dt by dt uh, this is the rate of change in temperature with respect to time t okay so here yeah, this k is a constant so now integrating both sides i can say integration of 1 over t dt is equal to minus k times integration of dt k is a constant so i kept that out and integration of 1 over t is natural log of t so natural log of t is equal to minus k t plus c which is a constant of integration now this natural log of t when you say natural log of t it has a base of e so converting this into the exponent form i can say t because t is positive so we can ignore this modulus now so because it says that both temperatures are positive so we can say now t capital t is e to the power minus kt plus c okay now what will happen so this is same as t is equal to e to the power minus kt times e to the power c now e is a constant i hope this step is clear this is when you're adding the powers you can multiply so this is nothing but a constant so it's an arbitrary constant so i'll say i can give a letter a for that so this the whole thing changes to a e to the power minus kt so this is the differential equation uh, of a with respect to time t where a is a constant arbitrary constant so now what is what is the information that we have got we have been told that at time or at time t1 you got temperature t1 and at time t2 you got temperature t2 so let's write that now at time t2 at time t1 so let's start with at time t1 uh, you can say temperature is equal to t1 okay so we can say when uh, let us write this in a different way oops uh, let me use a smaller eraser so you can say when t is equal to t1 okay so can we write like this when t that is small t time is equal to t1 the temperature capital t is t1 so let us put this in this equation so we can say t1 is a e to the power minus k t1 okay and when time is equal to t2 the temperature is t2 so again you can put this in this equation so what will what will we get that is t2 is equal to a times e to the power minus k t2 
So here you got two equations. Okay, we can say this is equation number one. Okay, and this is equation number two. Okay, so let me make this better. So let me drag this up a little. Okay, so yeah, you can say this is equation one and this is equation two. So I want to eliminate this A. What can I do to get rid of this A? Think about it. So I've got T1 is AE to the power minus KT1 and T2 is AE to the power minus KT2. So what's the algebraic way or the mathematical way to eliminate this A? Well, let us do 1 divided by 2. So what I mean is you divide the left-hand side of 1 by the left-hand side of 2 and the right-hand side of 1 by the right-hand side of 2. So the, ne the next step can be written like this. T1 over T2 is equal to AE to the power minus KT1 over AE to the power minus K. T2. Okay, so don't cancel the case. You can't cancel the case. It's very tempting to cancel the case. Okay, <laughs> don't do that. You have to cancel. You can cancel only the A's. Okay, so the next step will be like this. T1 divided by T2 is E to the power minus KT1 over E to the power minus KT2 which is same as e to the power minus k t1 take away minus k t2. Now, this is a very important step. That, that's why I'm doing very slowly. So, you're taking away a negative. That means you are adding it. So, if you can say t1 over t2 is e to the power taking away negative becomes positive. So, it's k t2 minus k t1. So this is T2 over T1 over T2 is e to the power k. If you factor out the k, you have T2 minus T1. So whenever you have uh, the power, uh, when you have the variable as a power, you should always hit it with a log. That's the only way you can remove the power as a variable. So this is a variable. T2 minus T1 is a variable. So, uh, we have to eliminate or to destroy this. You have to take the natural log or the log. So, in calculus, we always take natural log. That is natural log of T1 over T2 is equal to natural log of e to the power k times T2 minus T1. Now, applying the log rule, which you should know, natural log of uh, x to the power n is n log x okay this applying that rule i can say natural log of t1 over t2 is equal to k times t2 minus t1 times natural log of e now natural log of e has a base of e natural log of e or natural log has a base of e so here we are asking what is natural e to which power gives you e so obviously e to the power 1 gives you so this becomes 1 because you're asking the question e to which power gives me e and that's how you get the log okay so or natural log or log so what i mean is suppose if you're asking log someone is asking log what is log of 100 to the base 10 the net uh, common log has a base of 10. So here I can say this is 2 because 10, I know 10 squared is 100. Now this should be not that difficult for calculus students. So that's why this becomes 1. So I can say the next step is natural log of T1 over T2 is equal to K times T2 minus T1. Now, dividing both sides by T2 minus T1, I can say 1 over T2 minus T1 times natural log of T1 over T2 
is equal to k. And that's what we wanted to prove. Uh, here we go, k is 1 over t2 minus t1 times natural log of t1 over t2. So let us write in a proper way. So k is 1 over t2 minus t1, oops, t1, small t1, times natural log, natural log of t1 over t2. 